Okay, hey everybody, welcome to a very special on location episode of On The Wrist from Off The Cuff. Today we're gonna be talking about compass bezels, specifically that found in the Seiko Alpinus. This is the European exclusive rock face limited edition, uh, only available in Europe, but hey, here it is in the good old US of A. Which finger did I point with? I don't know. So we'll look back in the editing. <laughs> but uh, so a couple things to consider when you are thinking about how to use the compass bezel on your watch. So let's go ahead and jump into those considerations right now. All right, guys, now for starters, I do have my handy dandy cheat sheet here to make sure that I do give you guys the good scoop, but I'll also be leaving that down in the description of the video. So no matter where you're watching this from, you can always refer back to that if for whatever reason you can't understand where we're going with this. So you might see me peek down at this as we go, but hey, some key considerations, of course, time of day, daylight savings, and which hemisphere you're in. So those are gonna be a big deal because you want to bisect clockwise before noon and you're gonna bisect uh, counterclockwise for the afternoon. So that means when you're actually taking it and you're cutting it, which will make more sense when we get a little bit further ahead. But these steps are more so to look back on if you miss something and you feel like you need to circle back, right? So you wanna adjust accordingly for daylight savings because you are gonna be looking at the hour, of course. And then since I'm in the Northern Hemisphere, I'm gonna be orientating off of the hour hand. Some of you that are gonna be in the Southern Hemisphere might need to orientate off of the 12 o'clock marker. So hour hand versus the 12 o'clock marker, pretty simple stuff, guys. Um, but so with that said, let's actually go ahead and jump in to how to use this little guy here. All right, so first thing you need to do is find the direction of the sun. So as you can see, let's go ahead and pan over to the sun. We see that's where the sun is, right? So the first step is actually to face the sun. So then either you could leave the watch on or take it off. I'm gonna go ahead and take it off here and let's go ahead and uh, get in tight over my shoulder. All right guys, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and face that hour hand towards the sun. And then I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this rotating bezel, as you can see there, the compass bezel. It's gonna come all the way around until we have south right there at the hour hand, and here's where we're gonna bisect. This is what I meant by that. We're gonna take the distance between the hour hand and the 12 o'clock marker, and we're gonna go ahead and cut that in half, and that is gonna be roughly south, which means we now have our orientation for north. So if you ever have any type of map, of course you're gonna be able to know where north is, and you're gonna know exactly how you're standing and how you're oriented on a map. So it's actually a lot easier than you think. You don't even actually need a compass bezel. You can use a dive time bezel. You just gotta, of course, always gonna remember that no matter where that marker is, that's south, and then the opposite is gonna be north. All right guys, and there you have it. Pretty simple. All you have to do is remember, you wanna to orientate towards the sun so you can see the sun. Of course, if you're like in a very wooded area where you cannot see the sun, then what you're gonna to wanna to do is look for a shadow. And then of course, you're gonna to offset towards that shadow. So if the shadows are all pointing this way, that means the sun's peeking through through that direction. You're gonna orientate your body and your watch that direction. Then you're gonna take your uh, you're gonna take your watch itself, you're gonna point it to where the hour hand is now pointed towards the sun, and then you're going to split the difference between the 12 hour marker and that hour hand, and somewhere in the middle there is going to be south, and then of course, opposite of that is going to be north. So again, very easy for us that we just went through right now, because it's about one, you know, it's only uh, 25 minutes after 1 p.m., so we were just splitting this between one and 12, cutting that in half, but if it was five, we would split that in half. If it was six, we'd split that in half right so it's really relatively easy and uh, you would think by all the information that are on these dials that it would be a lot more complex but it's actually super easy you don't even need a compass bezel you can actually just use a dive time bezel as well so if you were to line up that loom pip over at uh, and use that to bisect you just have to remember the opposite side right the 30 uh, the 30 minute marker is going to be where north is okay guys so of course even after years and years in the Marine Corps you would think that land nav would be something that is really ingrained into me, and it is, but it is absolutely very easy to get turned around when you're out on a trail or just out in an open space you don't recognize. And knowing the difference between north and south can really save you a lot of time trying to find your car. So there's always a use for that. And the nice thing is you do have that tool with you in terms of it really being an everyday carry kind of easily usable EDC item that anybody can use even me, even a jarhead after all these years can still figure it out, so I'm sure you guys can too. So let me know what you guys thought in the comments below. If you liked the video, please do hit like. And if you haven't already, 
please do subscribe for more content just like this. Thanks guys.